The JVP has requested the president to intervene and prevent Sri Lanka losing the rights to the Hambantha report that would be leased out in a few weeks. In a letter to the president, MP Sunil Handunati says that deals of the incumbent regime have crushed the slogans and ideas brought before the public during the election. Why is Hambantota being sold off? It is an economic center of the country. Some speak of the sale price. Some speak of the 1,000 million US dollars. There are things that we cannot sell at any cost. Can we make a bid on the Sri Mahabodhi? Can we make a bid on the Ruan Valley Mahasaya? Can we make a bid for the Temple of the Sacred Tooth Relic? It is said that the Hambantha report will be given to the Chinese company for 99 years. The South Asian region of the Indian Ocean has seen a greater influence from India, China and the United States of America. There is a competition to rule commercial affairs. In such a backdrop, we will be cornered in the name of giving an area to China. Our first observation is that this port should be under the sole control of the government of Sri Lanka and the Sri Lanka Ports Authority. The JVP alleges that even though in two weeks the ownership of the Hambantota port will change hands, the country has not been made aware with regard to the contents and conditions of the sale. China will control the Hambantota port for 99 years from the 7th of January 2017. Two Chinese companies have come forward. I have copies of the letters sent by one of the Chinese companies. It reads that the company agrees for a 65% and 35% share. According to this, they are requested for 30 years. The company says that they were called for a discussion even knowing what it was for. Then the company says that they were given one hour to decide on taking over 80%. They were only given an hour. Can a large sum of money be decided on in one hour? If the buyer was told something like that, imagine how many hours the seller needs. This is a resource of the country that is being sold. This shows what kind of theft they are attempting to commit. If a government is operating in an intelligent manner, giving priority to the nation, what they need to do is to have 51% as state-owned and give out the remainder to China or any other country in order to cover the losses. It should be done in a respectful manner that protects the reputation and respect of the country. When one particular country is given priority in an ad hoc manner, there is a high possibility for other countries to turn for. Therefore, reaching such arbitrary agreements which put national security at risk and selling off the port in this manner can be termed as the most immoral act done by good governance.